Tonight I bring you an article of a person who's using his Facebook influence to defame and slander a person, this person of notable standing within the community, owning a media business and a tour company. Unfortunately, this story is about myself, the editor. I bring to you Anthony John Cornwall of 40 to 48 Progress Road, White Rock, a Cairns suburb of North Queensland. Anthony Cornwall was once a failed actor who had minor roles in Prisoner and other small screen television series. Upon further investigation, Mr. Cornwell's testimonials that he presented are plagiarised from a key witness to the murder of Donald Mackay. Ian Burnell was the son of the police officer who killed Donald Mackay in 1977. Ian was 15 at the time. Mr. Cornwell secretly recorded Ian's statement in Cairns Base Hospital without the knowledge of Ian and has been using this evidence to try and claim $200,000 from the New South Wales government. This story was freely given by Ian Burnell and Mr Cornwall has no real claim. Since my discovery, I have notified Mr Cornwall of my decision to not proceed with his story, which in turn turned out to my detriment as Mr Cornwall does not seem to like taking no for an answer. Mr Cornwall is now attempting to use excerpts from the book in an attempt to slander and defame my person. What Anthony Cornwall is doing is a new form of torture, using a person's childhood to his own personal sick and demented pleasure. Every time this man reposts my images and makes slanderous statements, it's an attack on my person and my history, making me relive a past I have been trying to forget and blatantly making up stories to suit his own narrative. It is disheartening to see someone use their platform not to uplift, but to undermine others, particularly those who have already endured significant hardship. This manipulation of my past is not just a betrayal of trust. It is an assault on my dignity and a misrepresentation of my journey. I have spent years healing from my childhood experiences. The act of repurposing Michael's story to fabricate a narrative that serves his interests is a violation that goes far beyond simple defamation. It seeks to erase Michael's agency to rewrite his history. And to diminish a voice in a world that has too often silenced people like me. In confronting Mr Cornwall, I'm not only defending my own truth, but also standing up for the countless others whose stories have been manipulated or misrepresented. It is crucial that we collectively reject this behaviour and hold individuals accountable for their actions, especially when they attempt to profit from the suffering of others. As I continue to navigate this challenging landscape, I encourage my readers and viewers to remain vigilant and discerning. Let us support one another in our journeys celebrating authenticity and truth while rejecting those who seek to exploit pain for personal gain. Together, we can foster a community that values integrity and compassion, ultimately paving the way for healing and understanding in the face of adversity. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Your support means the world to me as I work to reclaim my narrative and advocate for those whose voices are often drowned out in the clamour of self-serving agendas.